Hi everyone, so we are continuing forward with short-term operating assets, cash and receivables. And in this video, we're looking at the second allowance for doubtful accounts method or the allowance method for um, estimating doubtful accounts. So accounts receivables that we won't collect. The first one we talked about in a previous video was the percent of sales method. And in this video, the second allowance method allowed by GAAP is the aging of accounts receivables. So let's just jump right in with an example. Here we have Interstate Marble, their importers. They had the following normal balances at the end of the year, so December 31st, before the year-end adjustments. So we have a balance in accounts receivable of $74,000, and they have a balance in their allowance account of $2,000. Now remember the allowance account whatever it's called, allowance for doubtful accounts or allowance for uncollectible accounts or allowance for bad debt. You can see that called several different things, but remember that's a contra asset account. So it carries a credit balance. It's contra to what you think other assets would be. So it, assets carry a normal debit balance, a contra asset will carry a credit, ba credit balance. So here's what an aging schedule would look like. You've probably seen one on a utility bill or something like that down at the bottom where it says your bill is zero to 30 days or your bill is 30 to 61 days old or 61 to 90 days old, etc. So that's an aging schedule and companies use that to determine are they going to be able to collect from you or not. So here's a very simple uh, aging schedule down here at the bottom. Here we have accounts receivables of $70,000 that are 0 to 60 days old, $4,000 that are over 60 days old, so a total of $74,000 in accounts receivable. And down at the bottom we have an estimate of how much in that uh, age period we expect to uh, not collect. So percent uncollectible from the 0 to 60 days old is 2%. If it gets over 60 days old, we expect not to not to collect 20% of it. So you see this is why we give or why businesses give customers uh, sales discounts to pay early because you can see the earlier you can collect the more likely you are to actually collect. So the older they get the less likely you are to ever see them. Now remember when we talked about the percent of sales method we said the percent of sales method actually adds to the balance in your allowance account. The aging schedule is different in that the aging schedule actually gives you a new balance in the allowance account. So instead of, as in the percent of sales method, we calculated the adjusting amount in the aging schedule, it's going to give us a new balance and we have to find the adjusting amount. Remember a balance is not an entry, it's not, an, it's not a, a journal entry, it's not an adjusting entry. So we've got to figure out what that amount is once we calculate the new balance in our account. So let's go ahead and multiply through to figure out what amounts of these accounts receivable we don't plan to collect. So in the 0 to 60 day range, we don't plan to collect about $1,400 of that. And over 60 days range, we don't expect to collect $800 of that. So out of our $74,000 in receivables currently, we don't expect to collect $2,200. Now remember, I just told you that this is our new balance in our allowance account. So it's no longer $2,000 like we see in that T account. The new balance is $2,200. So to figure out what we're going to journalize, we've got to think to ourselves, how did we get from a beginning balance of $2,000 to a new balance or ending balance of $2,200? So let's just draw that in our T account. So here's our new T account down at the bottom. So I've got to figure out how I went from 2000 to 2200 Well, obviously we're increasing the account by $200. So we need to journalize this um, bad debt expense of $200. So just like we did with the percent of sales method, we're going to debit bad debt expense for $200 and credit our allowance account for $200. Remember that allowance account, it's a credit because it's a contra asset account. Don't forget if you enjoyed the video, Give it a thumbs up and questions and comments are always welcome.